I sense that there is a strong anointing tonight from verse 24. The Lord is going to be bringing a massive deliverance in this place. Let me tell you what deliverance is. Deliverance is a spiritual system by which the saints are separated listen carefully are separated from the obstacles it doesn't always have to be spirits there can be mountains that stand before you the separation between you and any source of impedance whatever it is that sustains the ability to impede your progress in life and in destiny that art of separation is called deliverance are we together daniel chapter 6 please give it to us verse 24 this was these were the three hebrew boys now cast into fire and the king darius now commanded and they brought those men which had accused daniel and they cast them into the den of lions and their children and their wives okay this was the, the story of daniel now in the lion's den and the lions had mastery of them you discern what that means and break their bones in pieces or ever they came at the at the at the bottom of the den aha uh -huh, next verse and the king wrote to all people nations languages that dwell in all the earth a decree is about to be passed peace be multiplied unto you it says i make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel why for he is a living God and steadfast forever and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end 27 this is why he is called that God he delivereth and rescueth and he walketh sad. If someone is sick now and you pray in the name of Jesus and nothing seems to happen, you can honorably take the person to a pharmacy to midwife his health while he's learning the laws of divine health. Is that true? It does not mean you don't believe in divine health, but hospital and drugs are God's systems of mercy to midwife our longevity and our health while we are learning. God himself knows that it's a process. I'm a winner man, a winner man. He has won my battle for me. Listen, let me tell you the day my deliverance came. I found a scripture and light came like an arrow from heaven and entered me. When that light entered me, I ran. I stood in front of my room then and i shouted i pleaded with the spirits that used to oppress me i begged them to return till tomorrow they have not returned listen when we minister like this number one we are not being boastful number two we are not negating what christ has done the administration of his power is our participatory role in actualizing his finished work in and to our lives this is what the bible calls faith the name of the action you take based on your conviction on who god is and the integrity of his person it is always by grace but it is through faith grace is the name given to everything that is in god released to man only through the office of the christ that's what we call grace mercy is grace power is grace wisdom is grace grace is not unmerited favor that's just one dimension of it grace is a generic name given to the storehouse that contains everything that makes god god is called grace but the system of access and delivery is what we must learn help that person please help that lady under the anointing believers we must trust god to mature in doctrine so that we do not become victims Help her. There is a mighty deliverance that is happening to her there. Because the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. So understand, there are many spirits, but this one is that spirit, the Lord. The Lord is that spirit. And where the Lord is, you know he signs that signature by giving men liberty. 
so that a door that has been closed for 90 years your grandfather tried to open till he died there your father tried to open till he no, it, we are not going to open it we will break it into pieces so that your children too can pass do you know why nathaniel said to jesus can anything good come out of nazareth he was not lying there was an antecedent that there was a track record there are regions where men only rise by eating from others they never become established no matter how educated there are regions where it's the women that feed the men the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband hard-working diligent people how about people where doors are open for you just when you are seeing it to pick it who's seen that this man was born blind that means there was something jesus taught them immediately they saw this a good student said jesus you've taught us something but who's seen was it this man or his father he said neither but that the glory of the lord be revealed can i tell you this this night i want you to be angry and make up your mind we have a few minutes tonight we are going to trust god to have a convocation within this place to walk from person to person and bring to end everything that will not bow to the name of the lord listen can i tell you this i remember many years ago this was in zaria we're about to pray a precious man of god came to meet me and as soon as he entered my room I saw a spirit behind him I was just watching and he was telling me some of the ordeals around his life and ministry sincere well-meaning godly person I kept quiet and then I told him I said sir can I pray for you I think there is an oppression ah he shot me down immediately no 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 don't talk to me about oppression I said okay I'm sorry I hope I don't offend you but if you will allow me pray for ah, I just want you to agree with me I said no problem let's do the agreement when i held his hand he only got up after how many minutes the kind of deliverance that happened to him see it did not take one week it's like the doors were just opening like this do you know that guy returned back and said apostle what happened upon mount zion listen where does the deliverance happen where does the deliverance happen go to the book of hebrews what is in mount zion the church of the firstborn innumerable rock company of angels that's why deliverance happens zion is the appropriate way for place for deliverance to happen if it does not happen upon mount zion where else does it happen there shall be deliverance and then holiness then the sons of jacob shall possess it will never enter your hand Till the resistance have been cleared away i can tell you this hear me there are men of god do you know even over this city there are controlling powers when god sent me to this city i took up quality time signing that spiritual register let me tell you this help them i tell you the truth and forgive me if it sounds like i'm just bragging you can be in a city yet spiritually you are outside that city because the gate is still closed over you you do business in that city you will lose you do whatever in that city you will lose because the two leaf gates have not been parted are you ready to pray i once prayed for a woman who had a school and all of a sudden mysteriously wonderful woman people started picking their children away from the school what did she do it was not that okay they got some new teachers and i called her i said madam continue your pathway of principles and excellence but let's deal with this there are spiritual things to be dealt with i prayed for that woman i anointed her the biblical pathway not some of these superstitious things that people do there is an angle to deliverance that is not consistent with doctrine it may not mean that the those who are administering it are bad they are just inaccurate as far as the administration 
of the power of god is concerned there is a way we administer the power of god that is consistent with doctrine she went back and fire breakthroughs everywhere let me tell you this if there is anything i know that produces instant results is true deliverance when the impedance leaves your life you will be surprised some of you can be seated here while in church and a call just comes this was the call you've been waiting for for five years you don't know that there are spirits in the airways that shut the ears and the attention of destiny help us do you believe what i'm sharing with you because from here now we're going to pray and i'll begin to minister i'm going to take quality time to minister deliverance this night and then we're going to pray for the sick we'll speak over your prayer request this is the sick month the sixth month there has to be an evidence someone promised to help you and lift you and like the wine presser the moment they get out of prison they forget you and their forgetfulness adds two years to your pain i don't know about you if you are all right your children are all right you are already enjoying everything pray for us but as for me and my house make up your mind that father there must be an evidence of your favor your grace but before then hear me there are families that are connected i know what i'm seeing as i'm speaking here so i want your heart to be open as we pray no distraction focus on jesus and let's deal with some of these issues hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open please rise up on your feet please rise up on your feet and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying please pray Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinary...